Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Uh, bear with me on this one because it's going to get a little bit weird. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe as a lot of people uh, who watch my videos every single day are not subscribed to the channel. Michael Saylor is a very popular figure within the cryptocurrency space. He's always saying interesting, interesting things uh, that tend to make it uh, quite rapidly into the news. Uh, we're not going to talk about the, the, the bank thing or um, Bitcoin needing to perform uh, better and basically do backflips. We're going to push that one to the side. One of the core ideas of Bitcoin, and it's not really an idea, it's kind of like baked into the cookie that is Bitcoin. I think I'm hungry again. Is the idea that there will only ever be uh, 21 million Bitcoin. Got it. And for those of you, here's a little secret. For those of you who, who don't know, the number is probably going to actually be just a smidge below 21 million 21 million is what's like coded into the machine uh but if you do the actual math it comes out to like 20 million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety seven point three blah 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 so like it won't they say 21 million to kind of simplify because if you went on the news every single time and you were like well there's only 20 million no, 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 that kind of thing so there's actually a little bit less also not even taking into account which billions of people don't which is which is heartbreaking is probably the word for it. Um, the people also don't know and often do not remember uh, that while we are 8 billion people and that there will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin, see, see what I did there, it's also estimated and believed once again that 4 to 6 million Bitcoin are lost and gone forever. That's really important because Bitcoin is incredibly scarce and there's a lot of people, or rather not a lot of people, who have an enormous amount of Bitcoin. So, you know, if Bitcoin's going to go up to several million dollars per coin, it's probably, I don't know, maybe a good idea if normal people had some Bitcoin so that they also gain some of the wealth that a lot of these rich people already have. I don't, I don't know, just, just, making, just making stuff up as I... As I go along, um, as we see the amount of Bitcoin on exchanges continuing to dwindle, you know, the topic we're always talking about, uh, the amount of Bitcoin that rich people have continuing to rise, for those of you who missed it, we just heard that a company that is um, worth, owns, has um, around $11 trillion worth of assets. Uh, now officially has over 400,000 Bitcoin just for themselves. MicroStrategy, the company owned by Michael Saylor, also has more than a quarter million Bitcoin as well. As these numbers continue to expand in favor of, of the wealthy who keep buying while retail continues to not buy, Michael Saylor threw out a... Very specific number and a very specific date. And I had a hard ific on it uh, just because of how weird the idea actually is. As Bitcoin uh, is mined from the computer every four years, something happens. It's the halving. Yeah, surprise. And the am amount of Bitcoin that ends up being created gets cut in half. Logically, the halving gets cut in half and continues to go lower and lower. At a certain point, and I believe it is the halving of 2032, if I am not mistaken, I believe it's 2032, the amount of Bitcoin that comes out of the machine will just be Satoshis. So you know how like, well, rather... Usually before, if you like mined a block, you know, therefore blockchain, if you mined a block, you would get 50 Bitcoin. And then that went down to 25, 12.5, 6 point something, 3 point something. By the time we get to, I believe, 2032, I think only Satoshis come out of the machine and no longer even an entire Bitcoin. I believe it's 2032. Michael Saylor thinks 
that there's going to like you've heard like of like like the 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 Bitcoin gold rush. For those of you who haven't, it's just like Bitcoin but a gold rush. You should have heard of it before. The idea is that um, as it becomes scarcerer and more uh, expensiver, more people will want it. Er. Therefore, people will be buying more, people will be accumulating more, people will be holding more, but people will also be mining a lot more as well when, when it kind of clicks and people go, ah, I need some of that as well before it goes to $55 million per coin. Michael Saylor has said, he didn't even suggest, he said that 99 99% of all Bitcoin will be mined in the next 10 years. Like almost exactly 10 years. He said the 2nd of January, 2035. As the halving continues and there's less and less Bitcoin coming out of the machine, we know that mathematically on its current course, we will see the last fragments of Bitcoin coming out of the machine in the year 2140. I know it sounds insane. This is why we're seeing this big rush for like um, pay, pay attention. This is why we're seeing the rush forward right now. People keep assuming, I told you before, that this entire thing of these companies and corp corporations, institutions, and BlackRock getting into the space was somehow random. No, it's crunch time because there's literally not a, a, enough left for people. And th there's no new Bitcoin entering crypto exchanges because any Bitcoin that ends up getting sold by the people who are mining it is automatically like being held by the people who are mining it because they're mining it for themselves or it's going to other companies and corporations who are also buying it for themselves. The new Bitcoin, the new Bitcoin that you see entering exchanges, if you see, oh my gosh, Bitcoin, what happened in this exchange? What's happening is, is that that's retail, getting impatient with the market and then selling. That's all it is. And then those coins are being bought up by the rich and bought up by whales. That's the wealth transfer that we keep going over and over and over and over and over and over. He's suggesting that as Bitcoin's value continues to rise dramatically, that people will begin to like mine like they've never mined Bitcoin before. And this will actually put so much, I don't, I don't want to use the term strain and pressure on the actual system, but it'll kind of force it to continuously like make more and more coins than it's currently supposed to make. And he said, if we continue on this course, he thinks that in the next 10 years, there will basically be no Bitcoin left coming out of the machine. At the moment, currently 94. Is it looking at the, is looking at the poster? Hold on, wait for it, hold on. My face, my face. My face. There we go. I just looked at it and like the little like uh, scanning thing was going over the poster and I was like, that's a, f oh, it's also a face of course is looking at it. We have 94% of all Bitcoin currently mined right now. He's suggesting that if this gold rush continues, we are going to see basically Remember, remember when I told you, like you know, like 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 the drip a while ago, like the, there will only be a drip over the course of a hundred or so year period. He's basically saying it's going to happen about twenty years quicker than people expect, and that there will basically be no new Bitcoin for anyone except for people who are actually mining it. I don't know if you're understanding the implications or the idea of first of all the idea of the last fragments of Bitcoin being mined in the year. 2140 are absolutely outrageous. If Bitcoin, and I say this one last, last thought, just to not, you know, drag this on for too long. Can anyone out there explain to me, in, in all, all honesty, if there's ever been a point for you where you lost interest in the cryptocurrency market, or you left the market, or if prices got too low and you weren't as into it as much anymore. Can you explain to me why you left? Or what your feelings were after you re-entered the market? I ask because we are seeing in real time that all these coins are being bought up by nearly the same people. 
same wallet addresses, same corporations. If you understand and see that, let's say apples. You see that apples are super rare. And you know that you can buy slices of apples or even an entire apple if you're, if, you know, if you're bougie enough. And you see that all these apples are being bought up by these companies and corporations. But at some point, the valuation of an apple kind of goes down a little bit and you lose interest. You don't see that there's only 21 million apples and there's barely any left on the table. What's, what stops you? I don't know what my, what my question would even be. What do you think is happening right now when it comes to wealth and wealth accumulation and the way that money is moving around the world and who's becoming rich and who will be basically rich forever. I don't mean to sound negative here, but what are you going to do if Bitcoin actually ends up going to like $16 million? Do you think you have enough? Do you think you have too much? Do, what's the it's 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 kind of like uh remember um nvidia and tesla these are two really important things like people i liked tesla for like a while but it wasn't until the stock became so expensive that it kind of became like a you know a, a household name for investing and everyone turned to it and started loving it and all these other things nvidia for a while like we knew they were making chips but it wasn't until the whole ai thing that everyone was like, oh my gosh, I need to own NVIDIA stock. You see where Bitcoin is going. You see who's accumulating it. If Even if it was just BlackRock, that should already set you on the path for like, okay, this is going to be something big. The problem is, is that people won't begin to pay attention to Bitcoin properly until it goes over six figures until it's over 150,000, until it's at half a million per coin. And uh, do you understand that there's not a, like there's really not a lot of it left? Like what holds you back from buying? What makes you say now's not the right time? Is it thinking that the price will go lower? And, and, and I, these are, I'm asking, I'm asking you a real question, mainly because I've heard, I've heard that before. When Bitcoin's at 30,000, people think it's going back to 15,000. And then when it goes up to 40,000, they go, well, okay, now it's going down to 25. People keep waiting for a moment for things to happen for them or for someone to grab their hand and to, you know, help them do it or through it. And then the people end up being devastated when they... You understand that, like, all the world's assets are being accumulated just by the very wealthy. If you missed one of the other videos... Deloitte, one of these um, high-class accounting firms, said that the wealth of the people who are already rich in the next five years is going to double. Now you go, okay, well, doubling's whatever. No, 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 no. It's it's doubling to ten trillion dollars. It's currently at like four point seven. It's going to ten trillion dollars. They're going to accumulate. Five trillion dollars worth of assets in five years. That money is coming from somewhere. The Bitcoin that is meant to be for you and your family and your friends is being sucked up in this gigantic vacuum in the sky. And you see all the apples flying up there. You go, hmm, well, I'm going to go get some peaches. I heard they have some new meme peaches out there. And I don't know. It's, it's an honest, real question. Like, what's holding the community back? Like, people who are already in crypto, you should have a really rough idea of what's going on and what's happening and who's buying. But the interest doesn't seem to be there until we hear a rich person say something. Until Michael Saylor says something insane and everyone's like, oh my gosh, I love it. Or we hear about the guy from Dell or we hear about uh, Elon Musk or we hear about some of these other people. You don't care about making money until you hear that someone has more money than you as opposed to staying on the course and just making your own money as i said before i was like keep your head down just make your own money keep investing like it'll all pay off but people leave until they think maybe it's like a fomo thing i don't know anywho yeah he says 99% of all Bitcoin will be mined by the 2nd of January 2035. If that's true, 
uh, this probably sets us up for a 10 to $15 million Bitcoin and a lot quicker of a time than we were all expecting. Because if there's none left to be mined, then there's none left for the, for the population to accumulate. But I mean, we're also in a situation where the ETFs are also gobbling up so many coins and a lot of people in the crypto market also just blissfully not paying attention. I don't know. Well... I do hope that you've all enjoyed. Hope you all are having a great day. Morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever the heck you might be. Do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.